Isaac Rex on the headset on the field. BYU 38, Arkansas 31, our final score. Isaac, congratulations to you and the guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for taking a minute with us. Um, we, we talked earlier with Parker about how this game was up and down multiple times tonight. When you look back and try and describe this game to somebody, what are you going to say? Uh, exactly how you described it, just up and down, you know, a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns and different situations that happen. It was it was definitely a fun one, you know. That's uh, kind of what you get when you go into an SEC territory. You, you get some interesting experiences. So uh, it was such a fun game. Uh, really exciting that uh, you know get a win for our fans out here tonight so Isaac I was thinking if you had a dollar for every block that you laid that led to a touchdown you'd have at least five bucks (laughs) that's good (laughs) you've been blocking like a maniac down the field what's your problem you got an anger problem when you're blocking because you are nasty on the downfield blocks take me to those some of those blocks including the one that you had against uh, the guy when the Parker Kingston went and scored yeah, I mean, you just got to get in front of them. And, you know, uh, I said some choice words to him after that I need to go repent about after. But, yeah, it was a fun game. You know, it was it was exciting to, you know, play an SEC ter- uh, team. And, you know, the stereotype is SEC teams, you know, they like to bully you. And so we, we went out there, and we, were, we didn't want to get bullied around, you know, as, as a whole team, and I think we did a great job about that. Yeah, Sam, Sam Pittman, we just heard from a moment ago when you popped on the headset, and he was using words like longer and stronger and physical, and, and this and was whipped. Uh, yeah, whipped. Uh, you played some SEC football tonight. Oh, yeah, no, we were, we were deep in the trenches in that game. It was, it was so fun. And so when you compare this team and where you were last year and obviously your quarterback is out in the NFL and he's doing great things from last year and it was a great team but when you compare this team Slovis and this offensive line and your receiver sets and the defense with Jay Hill and my goodness that defense Isaac mm-hmm. what an incredible so amazing they're um, great how do you compare this team to what you had and how excited are you about this team now moving into Big 12 play Oh, I'm really excited, and I think we have a lot of good camaraderie around the team. We we really love each other, you know, even though there's times we were down in the game today. No one had a long face. Everyone was pumping each other up. We were all excited to get back on the field and, you know, to keep scoring, to keep moving the ball. And same with the defense, you know, if they gave up a touchdown, um, you know, they, they didn't have their heads high or heads low. They were, um, you know getting back out there making stops making sacks getting holding calls it was it was awesome to see so just a overall great team effort whether it was third and longs or fourth and longs late in the game arkansas is trying to drive down and tie the score you can do nothing about it as an offensive player uh the vibe on the sideline there as you're just trying to hang on for dear life to finish this one out what was that like yeah a lot of prayers <laughs> um uh, at any time we got a holding call, it was like the you know a Christmas present. It was the coolest thing ever, and uh, we were calling out holding every single time because it felt like they were doing it. So uh, it was just uh, yeah, uh, definitely a scary moment uh, after the missed field goal. We would love to um, you know put it away then, but it was uh, yeah, it was a very uh, spiritual moment in terms of a lot of prayers on the sideline from the offense. Speaking of spiritual moments. You, do you have to get back to town for a, a spiritual assignment tomorrow? Yep, me and my wife are Sunday school teachers, so I got 1030 church. Um, you know, last last time I taught, there wasn't a lot of participation, which was pretty tough. So, But the first time we taught, it was a lot of participation. So we'll see what we get tomorrow. But I'm excited to, you know, uh, download the Come Follow Me podcast and uh, <laughs> listen to it on the plane. Hey, Isaac, we talked to Parker Kingston a little bit about this, and I just wanted to throw it at you because there's been two cover-up penalties that have taken some yards back from you. I'm just curious what happens in that moment where they take that yardage back from you because that's nothing that I'm really familiar with. Yeah, I don't know. We've had way too many of those. So, uh, we need to work on that, and it's it's just – lining up correctly so it's something we could totally fix um i mean but in the heat of a moment you know you sometimes forget uh certain alignments so you know we'll go back and uh figure that out so you just have an sec win tonight to get to three and oh it's a great feeling but now you get to play your first conference game as a byu cougar next week in lawrence your thoughts on being in the big 12 and playing league games now yeah, it's super exciting. Um, to be a part of the Big 12 is amazing, and we're so grateful for the president and, you know, all the other schools that allowed us to be in it. So, you know, we're going to go out there, play our hardest, have fun, 
um, enjoy the moment. But, yeah, to go to some place like Kansas, play a really good Kansas team, uh, is going to be really exciting. So, is, me... is this some of the most fun you've had playing the game, Isaac? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, uh, you know, anytime you're out on the field and if you've had experiences like me where it could possibly be taken away, um, it's it's very – I have a lot of, you know, gratitude towards this game. And um, to be able to just play with my team and, you know, get make plays and to pump dudes up, it's uh, it's really exciting. So Now, you've, you've seen it over the years, uh, Isaac, so it's not news to you, but when you can come this far away from BYU's home – and look up in a massive stadium and see a big chunk of the stadium wearing your colors. What does that do for you as a team and as a player? Oh, it gives us so much confidence, especially when they're in the game and they're standing up the whole time. It was so cool to see our fans, you know, very into it. Um, they, you know, cheered us on. It seemed like there was more blue than red in the stadiums at some point in the game. And, uh, man, we love our fans so much, and that's such a advantage for us that we have so many fans across the United States, across the world. Um, that are, you know, uh, want to come to games, they want to support us, and we can't thank uh, Cougar Nation enough. Hey, how much do you continue to learn from your dad? Uh, <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he, he still watches film, and he still corrects me on stuff and yeah, I still was, gives me pointers. But I was actually curious about that. I've got a son that's coming up in football, and I, I wonder, oh, how much tips do I give him, and how much do I just kind of let him do his thing? So I'm always curious. How much your dad is like, hey, Isaac, I need to get on a Zoom call with you after this game. I need to sit down and chat with you. How much does that happen? I want to know about Zoom call, but, um, yeah, I mean, it was definitely more in high school than it probably is now um, just because, you know, we have similar experiences in college. And he's more supportive than anything. And my mom, he, uh, she, I mean, she uh, kind of calms him down sometimes he gets a little too excited uh, at certain <laughs> points you know in the season so uh it's good to have my mom there to uh, rile him in I, got great I'm, I'm not going to ask you to rate post-game celebrations but uh this one's freshest to the memory how was that locker room tonight after the game oh it was sweet i mean everyone was on instagram live they were all flashing their phones everywhere so <laughs> it's going to be i'm sure like all of cougar nation could have saw it on social media so it was, uh, yeah, it was very fun, a lot of good music, and we were all just dancing around. It was, it was sweet. Did Kalani dance? Oh, of course. He's, he dances during the game, so he's a dancer. <laughs> Isaac, always a pleasure chatting with you, even more so after wins. Uh, this has to be super gratifying. You're a 3-0 and team. I'm sure a lot of people took notice. At 2-0, and we weren't quite sure what to make of BYU, probably a lot of people thought, you know, and this one just kind of puts a stamp on whatever you've done so far. Do you feel like this one was like, yep, this is who we are right now? Sure, and I think there's even a lot more that we can improve on. I mean, we did not play a perfect game by any stretch, uh, but it was, uh, you know, a great team win. A lot, we showed a lot of resiliency, and we're excited <laughs> for the future. All right, Isaac, thank you again. Congratulations. Yep, thank you, guys. Okay, Appreciate it. Safe travels. Thanks Go a lot. Yep. All right, that's Isaac Rex and Big O Tires Cougar Post Game Live. More from Fayetteville coming up on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.